What's up guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Joe's All-Star Tool Monday. It's hot, hot, hot down here in Mississippi. So hopefully Joe's got the AC pumping and we can go check out some tools. So you guys, let's go see what Joe has got today. Come on. guys how y'all doing you know I've heard stories but it's not it's not true I mean guys talk about but clay works hard matter of fact his sweat was sweating when I walked in here <laughs> he's all wearing all this fatigues and stuff welding on a day like today it's not hot enough it's working it's so sucks. if his intro look calm cool and collect I don't know how the guy turns it on like that but he pulled it off let me tell you but Let's just get started. I got a couple, I got one thing, point of interest. We're going to talk about Gary Pope. He got those gray pneumatic quarter inch drive deep magnetic sockets. We remember a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. But uh, people were asking in that, and I forgot, to, I forgot to answer back. They are spring loaded. People are asking and wondering, are they spring loaded? The answer is yes. Yes, cool. indeed. Spring loaded, so. If you need some, I got them. I think they were what, 160 bucks, spring loaded. All right, spring loaded. So that's cool. We got a few for a bucket of cash because you guys can't see me put them in because we're on the phone. So we're just going to do that. Mr. Walter Frederick. Walter is a good dude. He's a great guy, Mr. Walter Frederick. We have yours right here. Now, for guys that forgot about what the bucket of cash is my appreciation for when guys pay me large when I get a hundred dollar payment or say two hundred dollar payment mm -hmm. you get the receipt for the four hundred dollars or two hundred dollars I take out of my pocket a dollar or two dollars for mr. Rudy De La Cruz or whoever it is your name goes on it their name goes on it it goes in here when it gets good and full they get mixed up good pretty lady picks who's ever name she picks gets it all it. it's usually been 250 to 350 and da mr. Daniel Tubbs we have three for mr. Daniel three Tubbs Daniel's a good dude too everybody's everybody's good you don't have a bad guy in the whole in the whole buck I've heard of guy that feeds a bucket he's questionable that's that's <laughs> kind of comments I've heard you know so you know <laughs> you gotta watch out Joe <laughs> you, you only take the story as far as you read it that's it and uh, last we have Mr. Ted Atwell three of and, them and we have three for Mr. Ted Atwell too big money so well I'll say something you got up here that I could have used today those boot savers. You know, I've been looking at that. Look at that. I'm crawling around on the bed of that truck. And you know, I had to put them up there because I had them buried in here yep. for a while. I didn't mean to show you these. So, show or save the for red, redback boots, boot savers. I think they're like twelve fifty. So, they just glue on or something? Yeah, they give you a uh, boot saver glue, I guess. You put them on, stick them on, you order them per the size of your boot. Huh. Even gives you simple directions if you can read. Apparently, I got new glasses. My eye doctor didn't get it right because if I had to read, I'd have to put on these readers and then maybe <laughs> I can read. But uh, I, don't so, count, I don't count on that too well. They just stick to the end of them, huh? Yeah, you glue them on, and I think once they're on, they stay. Huh. So I believe and there should be two in there, which would serve you right. If you order a pair, you get two of them. Cool. Here's the directions. Trace the outline, give it a little sanding, put some glue on it, and go to town. And you have boot savers. All right. That's it. So, we're going to start with uh, one of my favorite subject, subjects, Milwaukee, nothing but heavy duty. 
Yep. So we have this here, powerful light. It started with, my wife says, power goes out a lot. You need to get me a good light, something rechargeable, something that lasts, because yeah. everything she's got, whenever she needs it, it don't work. I says, well, you should have said something sooner. I would have got you some Milwaukee. So this here light has magnets, so you can stick it on something, but there's not much magnet on here. But it also has a handy dandy, this pulls out a couple inches, and we'll grab onto something oh, yeah. so you and set stick. It, over a it also pulls out, and you go do 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 do. Stick it wherever you need to. Mm -hmm. So multi flexible. Plus it sits, it stands, it lays, it rolls, it flips. But what it does do is yeah, it's no bright. Like it. 1500 looms. Wow. And it dims down. That joker is bright. That's, turn her down, not blind us all. Yeah, so, nice. as far as the numbers go, and I once could read till I blinded myself. There it is. The port number. So, I will try and read. Four and a half hours on, on, uh, on a five amp hour battery, 1500 looms, four and a half hours. 10 hours on 600 looms, 20 hours on 300 looms. So I told my wife she can, you know, go all night long on, you know, more light than she'll need. Pretty impressive. So, Milwaukee, heavy duty. Um, 176. Fair to That's hard to believe a light would run 20 hours in it on a battery. Hey, it's crazy. Milwaukee, they make them. Now, have you seen or been, had your hands on NADs yet? I've seen them, but I haven't messed with them. Oh, here, put your hands on it. Right angle that is impact. a right angle impact. Now I have half inch, I have three, three eighths inch. So, number one power is three eighths, uh, a third power, mash the trigger. We can get the sound effect. So, mash the trigger. Third power, half power. Where are you? Did you skip three? Like, no, I think you, you skipped two. You, uh, you <laughs> but anyways, three is 220 foot pounds of torque. That's pretty awesome right there. And then all of it, all of it's done right up here. Electronics is done down here. Hand grip is here, battery there. That's a pretty nice, it's smaller than I thought it would be. Gets in there, it does all the business right there where you need it. That's pretty nice. How bad salty is that booger? They are uh, 292. Hmm. Not as bad as I figured. They look bad too. So you got half and three eighths. Huh? Three eighths right here. And I know Mr. Are they the same, the same they're, they're strength? They're the same torque, just same price. Different they just, they just made them different anvils. So I know Mr. Rudy De, Cru uh, De La Cruz is talking about one, maybe two of my three eights. So um, I can get more. There you go. We can get more. We got these. We can get more. We have. Let's switch places. So Mr. Ted Atwell wanted me to talk about these here. So I got some in for him so he could see this. It is a gear wrench trap mat. It's called. But it's a drawer liner. Right. There are four of these in here. We're just gonna have it and open one of these up. And let's see. Let's see how big this is. Should somewhere. Sixteen by twenty-two, or you can cut it. So it's sixteen by twenty-two. You can lay your tools any direction, you know, right and left, up and down. It's kind of like a mattress pad for your tools. For your tools, yes. But solvent won't affect it, oil won't affect it, they won't uh, degrade. Apparently, it don't want to come apart, come out of here. All too easy. But as you see, those. 
you can lay your branches in here like this when you're running out of room on the end have one without one of those you can lay some perpendicular you can say got your different wrenches yeah i uh, got a little like pyramids cut out triangles cut out probably what one inch squares yeah. so bottom part's about a half inch thick this is about maybe three quarter to the top so if you got an inch and a half drawer it'll fit close. I think so. I'm going to say they're about an inch and a quarter tall. Yep. Oh, oh it's about an inch and a half. So we're both in there yeah. as carpenters go. Close always counts. Close enough. So hopefully uh, Mr. Ted I described that good enough for you. Um, 60 bucks gets you four sheets in a package. And you can always cut it to uh, length or whatever you need for your door, fit it in. Somebody done been 3D printing, ain't they? Yes. So, one of my friends. God, I bet that took forever. Six hours to make one of these yeah. blocks. It does the holes, the counter sinks, everything. So what are these? What are they for? What are they for, Joe? Well, what are they? I actually know something. Well, tell us. We have a right and a left. Okay. This is for mounting your AR on the wall or in your closet. And it'll lock on your mag release. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say right or left, it's where you want your barrel pointing. Like. So, my friend makes them for 30 bucks, any color you want, and uh, these are your mag holsters for your belt to hold the mags. Hmm. 10 bucks, I know. Pretty cool. Six hours to make them, any color, 30 bucks. It's amazing how many of them I've sold already in two days knowing about it. That's cool. But, 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 here it is. Father Apparently, died. and we all know my dad passed away years ago, so it's not for my dad. But one of my customers, he's on here, his wife's on here. I got several wives that come on here. There's come on here many times. Yeah. So they were talking, and something I had, and the wife tells me, says, "Give me one of those for from for Father's Day." So I even went and put the put the wrapping in it for them. That's she customer service right they, there, they Joe. Don't even, they don't even know I've done this, so before I get there, I'm going to call up one of the other guys to tell her that, hey, I got this, and we'll sneak it off the truck, and <laughs> he won't even know, and they won't be paying nothing until after he has it. Oh, so, that's cool right there. Very cool. That's so, customer service right so, there. What other tool man wraps Father's Day presents? Hey, yeah. So, there it is. That's cool. Well, I was talking to Joe off camera before we started, and I've got two of these, actually. And uh, they are the handiest little things. Um, I keep them in my trucks, in my personal trucks, and you won't believe how many times we went to Walmart or something like that, and somebody have a flat or Small, lightweight, handy. We've ironed up a big truck tire with them when we first got them, just to you see can. if it worked. Because it says it'll go up to 120 PSI. And it'll do it. It's so you turn it on. You get to where you want to go. It'll jump by fives. And say you want to be just uh, 38. You go plus or minuses by ones. Yep. When you set it, you turn it on. When it gets to that setting, it turns off automatically. Mm -hmm. You have all your adapters back here. Don't take up no space in your trunk no, behind your sure seat, don't. whatever. And them things last. The batteries last a long time, and they do really good job. They give you a 4.0 with that. Yeah. That's amazing. They're on sale for 220. 220. Get that's the whole kit: the battery, the charger, mm -hmm. and the compressor. And 
and like you said, it's they last. You put yeah. it in your car, you don't have to worry. <laughs> Just charge a battery before you start, you know. Don't put it in yeah. there, you know, without giving it a charge. That's true. But, so yes, nothing but heavy duty. That's what we'll finish with. That's what we started with. I hope you all have a great week. Um, and like I was saying, my, these are my glasses. Where are they? My glasses don't have the right prescription, so it's really hard for me to answer anybody for the next couple of days till I re-see my, my eye doctor tomorrow and then get new glasses made. So I know Mr. Bobby wanted me to try to um, text him. I left him a message. He'll see this. I'll get back to him. I do have the right uh, nitpicks. Um, cable cutters looked up. I just don't have the price looked up. I will have that here for you. It just, I can't do it. I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. Be patient with Joe. He can't see. Um, His eye goggles is off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pain when you can't see. Trust me. I know. Have a great week ahead. Anything you need, text me. I'll put on these other ones and hopefully I'll kind of read the right words. <laughs> All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want some merchandise, it's right over there. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click it over here. It's totally free, it never costs you a dime. So, unfortunately, I got to go back in here in the heat. See you on the flip side. See y'all, guys.